What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am bringing so much energy into this video because guess what? The gyms are open back. Ooh. You guys, I am so excited. It has been a hot minute since I have been to a gym. As you know, I had a baby, okay? So my gym sessions weren't as like cush as they used to be and then I had to take that long break off from the gym. I gotta go to the gym for like that long before they closed down okay my body has been feeling it I am so ready to get back in there I am so excited now I do want to say that I know not everybody's gonna agree with my decision to go back to the gym I just want to test it out for myself I want to see what it's about I kind of want to get the feel for it I know not everybody agrees with that that's okay everybody's gonna have their own opinion own way of how they're gonna be coming out of quarantine little baby steps you know everybody's a little bit nervous everybody's a little bit cautious now what I'm gonna do in this video is kind of talk about requirements that the gym has like what's changed and then at the end of the video I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my experience returning back to the gym thoughts feelings all of that okay so a couple things that my gym has done they have their own app everybody's account was on pause so it was really nice and on our app you can pick the time that you want to work out they're only one hour time block so this is kind of like what it looks like let's see if this will focus so you can go ahead scroll through for when you want to have gym access and you just book your spot so far on the first day back Darian and I were able to reserve a spot in the morning um, and again I will tell you all about my experience if they kick us out at the hour how how that's regulated what what the gym is looking like all of those things I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that at the end of the video after I've gone to the gym and kind of figured out what things were like you know my experience but yeah pretty much they have time blocks so that they're regulating the amount of people that are going to be in the gym. They do like suggest to wear a mask, but it's not mandatory. I'll tell you how many people were or weren't wearing a mask when I go. Darian and I have decided that we are going to wear a mask. We just kind of feel more comfortable and safe doing that in the beginning. So that's what we're going to be doing. I know some people are very claustrophobic about wearing a mask. I will tell you my experience on that as well. We did find super, super lightweight masks that were like really thin and breathable. So, you know, fingers crossed that that works out well. Um, let's see. I have hand sanitizer in my back, so I'm going to be sanitizing everything, sanitizing, um, using their wipes, my wipes, just making sure everything is clean that I'm using. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to try to keep everything as clean and sanitized as possible. I know that it is a risk going to the gym. That is my decision. I know not everybody's going to agree with that. That is okay. I had a long rant about that on Instagram, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's go get this lift. You can't ignore it. I'm transforming now. These cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte, like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D. These no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and do me, bro. Making noise, use a beat, bro. Sanitization 
honestly I had no structured workout I just kind of wanted to do what I wanted to do and what felt great and that's what I did and felt great doing it so just kind of wanted to see where my body was at it was fun there was more people at the gym than I thought I didn't think so many people would be there but I guess other people need that mental release of a workout too you know I, I kind of felt like oh we're gonna be the only ones and I felt like kind of guilty but seeing how many people needed that and we're so happy to be able to have a place where they can go and work out and actually lift weights you know it's something not everybody's gonna understand and I get that I get some people um, are scared to go to a gym or scared to go out still our area has deemed certain things to be open the gym is one of them so we decided to go and I felt great there's so. still social distancing and still they recommend masks and they're sanitizing everything they have workers who specifically just like go around to sanitize so it was it was great I feel like calm I don't know why I feel calm but I feel calm right now all right you guys I am out of the shower I'm back home I survived the gym it was honestly really fun uh, I have so many thoughts and so many feelings that I want to share with you this is just my opinion my experience I know everybody's gonna have something different that they want to say but I really thought it was important that I shared with you obviously you follow me you watch me you want to know my experience so here it is, I'm gonna tell you. The 411 of returning back to the gym. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanna talk about masks. Now, the masks that Darian and I used, I didn't feel like they were suffocating me or that it was like a big deal to wear them. It didn't really bug me. I'd say maybe 50% were wearing masks and 50 weren't. Now, I feel like maybe 30% were wearing masks and probably 70% weren't. I feel like there were definitely more people not wearing masks that were. I totally understand, like, some people are freaked out about wearing a mask when they're working out. I, I get it. Uh, Darian and I just wanted to be safe. I wouldn't say enjoyed using them, but it didn't, like, bug me. And I'm somebody who has a very low tolerance. Like, when I'm working out, if anything is in my way, you gotta go. Because, like, you know, my workout time's, like my time you know what i mean so that was my thoughts on the masks um now i'm going to talk about the time slots i didn't really have an issue with the time slot i didn't have an issue working out within the hour i didn't have any problem booking my time um now when my hour was up there wasn't like anything coming over the intercom saying hey your time's up you need to leave this group uh, they didn't do anything like that uh, so we did go a little bit over our time but I don't know if this is more of like a guideline, a reminder like, hey, try to work out within this time frame. Or I don't know if they're trying to just kind of get an estimate of how many people to expect at certain times. My workouts are usually about an hour. Leg days typically take a little bit longer, but um, you know, that's just gonna have to be how it is, you know what I mean? Next up, I wanna talk about the cleanliness, like the whole cleaning sanitization aspect. There were a lot of cleaning stations around the gym and workers were kind of fall, not following you, but like when you were done with something, a lot of workers would go and clean it after you. I wish that there were more like wipe, sta wipe stations for people who use the gym so like I could more easily wipe down things. I thought that they would put a couple more of those around, but it was just the same as before coronavirus. They just had the extra stations of like the actual workers who were cleaning. Um, I would like to see more wipe stations just to help remind people, hey, wipe down everything. I know that they have workers who are doing that as well, but I just think it's a better practice to kind of have people like always wiping down everything that's what we did but you know how much of a control can you really put in on that and then the last thing i'm going to talk about is the overall like, experience i was so excited to go to the gym like seriously you guys know it is like my safe haven it is my second home it just brings me so much joy and it's my escape really and especially now being a mom that escape is even more important so that i can be on top of my game so i can be a better mom a better wife take care of my little one like the gym is everything to me because it's the one place I can go push myself harder and harder and harder every single day physically and mentally like it is it means so much to me having the gym be open again has been awesome it isn't the same vibes as it is before right because now that I'm going I still have fear and concern it's like I don't want people to be close to me I don't want to talk to people not like I talked to people before but I'm to consciously think about I need to wipe everything down before I use it I need to wipe everything down after I use it I I kind of you know you feel a little bit restricted a little bit scared and I didn't want to like use all of this equipment and super set and stuff for my first workout back you know I just kind of stuck to the same set of dumbbells I was just being super 
cautious and trying to just get a feel for everything which is normal it's the first time back out it's my first time being out in public in over two months because i haven't left to do anything you guys and i i mean that like we don't see family we don't we haven't been doing anything so it was a little bit like overwhelming to see people and it's kind of like a weird hard thing to explain i felt like a little bit of guilt for going but i was really excited to have gone i just am so happy and i'm so freaking grateful that the gym opened up and i could work out and i'm excited to actually like write a workout and do a full workout i'm slowly getting back into the gym i think i'm only gonna go like three days a week um just waiting to feel more comfortable going back uh seeing how i feel and yeah, I mean, I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes, but I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I don't know if it was or anything, at least maybe it's interesting for you, but yeah, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and you can follow me on Instagram for way more. I'm always posting on there. So yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!